Thank you everyone for coming and thank you for anyone who's watching on the live stream. Uh, today is the Dogen Zinji birthday service. So it's a special day. And uh, we'll start off with the opening up. Thank you, maybe seated. Now we have the name Global. On this 24th day of January, in the year 2021, at Taisho Disorder Mission in Hiro, Hawaii, we have humbly arrived at the occasion of Dogen Zenji birthday service and Sunday school. We will reverently prepare incense, brown, lamp and candles, chan sutras in offering. We will offer up excellent merit accumulated thereby to require his compassionate blessings. Namu kie butsu, namu kie ho, namu kie so. We go to the Buddha for guidance. We go to the Dharma for guidance. We go to the Sangha for guidance. Okay, now we have a short sazen. 
in Maybe I have Zazen for one minute. Please put the hand together in Gasho.
Good morning, everyone. Aloha. Aloha. Mahayo Thank you for coming to Taishoji today, and thank you for watching this live streaming video. <coughs> so last week, uh, we went a lot. So how did you spend your time last week? So the rain blessed the big island, and normally uh, my wife, my son, and I go to beach and relax for once a week. But we couldn't go to the beach. So uh, we went to uh, Pololu Valley and enjoyed the view and the trekking. So when we stopped by the Waimea, so we saw some uh, cherry blossoms. So some of them so started blooming. Uh, blooming. And so most of them so, uh, haven't uh, bloomed yet. And this year, a Waimea Cherry Blossom Festival so was cancelled. So, but I heard so Taishoji Taiko so will give a performance so through a video uh, for the festival. So you can check so Taishoji Taiko's Facebook page in uh, February. And uh, moving on, so we had the beautiful Dogen Zen birthday service today. Uh, Dogen Zenji is a founder of the Soto Zen school so in Japan. <coughs> so Dogen Zenji so was born into noble family so on January 26 and 12, uh, 1200. So his childhood was not easy. So his father passed away when Dogen was three years old. And his mother also passed away when Dogen was 13 years old. So he became a monk when he was 13 years old so because he felt the uh, impermanence of the world upon uh, his parents' death. So after he attained enlightenment so at the age of 28, so he wrote many books so until he passed away at the age of uh, 54. So it has been more than uh, 750 years. So since he has died, but uh, many people have been saved and inspired by his teachings. And thanks to him and his disciples' effort, so there are uh, 15,000 Soto Zen temples uh, in Japan. So during the service, uh, Baika ladies sang the song to celebrate Dogen Zen's birthday with our musical bell instrument. So through the video, so I'd like to introduce you to the words of the third verse. So they are uh, the flower in spring, the little cuckoo in summer, the moon in autumn, and the snow in winter, then feeling cool. So this is uh, Dogen's famous poem. So this poem expresses the characteristic of each season in Japan. Um, the flower in spring. So flowers are very pretty in spring. So such as uh, cherry blossom or cosmos or perhaps a lavender. On the big island, so we can see the cherry blossom in Waimea in February. And when he says uh, the little cocoa in summer, he uh, refer to, uh, refers to a little cocoa verse, so which in Japanese 
is called hototogis. So have you ever heard the call of the little cuckoo bird? Um, I found a cell phone on YouTube. Uh, I found a call uh, on YouTube. So I'd like to share the hototogis sound today. Maybe you can close your eyes, then you can listen, uh, focus on your uh, view. This uh, signifies it, that so it is officially summer. So, but in Hawaii, uh, when tournament starts coming to my house, so I feel it is officially summer. <laughs> and uh, when Dogen says the moon in autumn, so it, he means that the autumn is the best season to see the moon. So better than the any seasons. And when he <coughs> when he says. Um, the snow in winter. So he refers to snow covering in town with a white blanket, so which is so beautiful. And feeling cool is not only uh, to feel cool. To evaporate on the translation, it means to uh, purify our hearts. The Dogen said that so by feeling the change of the seasons, so our hearts will be purified. So from this poem, so I'd like you to learn two things. So number one, uh, <clears throat> the first thing is to cherish the change of every moment and to live our life completely. So in this season, uh, we can see <coughs> that Mauna Kea so is usually snow covered. So it is a very beautiful mountain. And with any luck, so we can see the wheels. So many see them and are impressed and inspired to take pictures. So it is a moment to be happy and to cherish change. So besides this, uh, there are a lot of places where we can discover change. So the other day, I was surprised by my son's growth. Uh, please look at the screen. <laughs> so this is my son. So my son was just uh, crawling for two weeks ago. And, but he has started to pulling himself up so since last week. So, and I don't know why, but he stands on tiptoes <laughs> so when he put himself up. So anyway, so my son um, was so cute, and I took so, some pictures. So this is also to cherish the change of every moment. So Dogen said that so we learn the greatness of change so from all the seasons. So that's why we should cherish change at every moment and live our life completely. And last thing, is to live freely, so without worries. So we need to learn this so from nature. So we sometimes worry about what the other people think, or so we sometimes complain about others. But so let's take a look at the nature. So this cherry blossom or the little cuckoo bird, do they worry about what others think, or uh, do they complain about others? No, uh, they just grow and live freely. The Dogen said, so we should live uh, like them. <coughs> so uh, on a given day, uh, if your work went well, so you might feel really good. But if your work didn't go well, 
So you may become depressed or take it out on others. So every day, so our life may be changeable. So if we are a spirit, can be refreshed, cannot be refreshed. So I recommend you take an opportunity to walk around your house, a park, or a beach. So by doing so, you will be able to see the beautiful flowers, animals of this season, and remember those which you, you cannot see in this season, and thus feel the change of the seasons. So you will be uh, relaxed by the change, and the remembrance will become a power uh, which enable you to live positively. So today, uh, I introduced so two things so to cherish the change of every moment so, and to live our life completely and to live freely without worries. So these are the good ideas to enrich our life. So let's cherish the change of uh, every moment and live our life positively. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Hatham. It's a great message for now because we can see everything is changing a lot. And it's great advice. The nature is always changing, so we can use the nature to relax and accept the changes. So next, we'll go to page 18 here at home for the show meal. Keep driving. <laughs> 